guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela, and welcome back to Deacon Walk. Hashtag Deacon Walk 2023. We are in Virgo Deacon 1 as of today. I've already uploaded a video on the Deacon itself, but I am now here to do Marlena. What is that light on? Marlena Teresa's uh, spreadsheet created for this Deacon. Um, looks like this very pretty green is my favorite color i am a virgo so it totally makes sense um and it just says uh consider this reading as your own personal harvest pick your cards from the tree the harvest tree to reveal so there's four cards i did a meditation and drew the cards i have not yet looked at them so this should be a quick one and before we get into the spread I did grab the uh, Lightness of Being Affirmation Cards by a Copper Tum. Um, this is the Earth Cards because we're in Virgo. This is published by Rockpool. I'm trying to find it. Rockpool Publishing. Um, and they're itty bitty baby baby cards. And I just went up really quickly and I edged it in green or teal to match the cards. I uh, really wanted to just pull a card to one fill up there look at the overall just an affirmation for this this spread so here we are it says epiphany blessings blessings of grandparent medicine soul songs walk on earth with bare feet and that's beautiful and we were just i've been talking about my grandparents a lot lately um interesting so we have four cards here i drew we're gonna leave that out um and i draw i'm using my soul cats tarot because i'm using them while this is one of the earthy virgo decks to me so here we go so for question one it says the work i truly care for so number one up here is what is the work i truly care for are you freaking kidding me <laughs> it is the two of wands but look what he's doing he's writing a freaking manuscript like are you freaking kidding me seriously he's writing something that's wow <laughs> that is the work i truly care about i ever since i could legibly write my name in cursive writing or legibly write my name period i wanted to be a writer I've never really pursued it till I hit my 40s, and now I'm almost 47. I do have two books self-published, but they haven't really gone anywhere, and I stopped writing as a result of it. So, that is very telling. Crazy. Okay, number two. Mistakes I have corrected. What is mistakes I have? A freaking moon card. What? What is happening? <laughs> Um, this is my second favorite moon card ever of all time. This actually looks like my cat's facial expressions 24 seven. He always looks mad. Um, I love that there's the dog and the crayfish on his necklace, um, on his collar. I freaking love it. And then we got part of the pillar, but it's broken too. Um, he's stunning. He's stunning. He's my favorite, second favorite moon. But the moon is all about hidden things and um, interesting. Because, and it says mistakes I have corrected. So, and it may not be my mistakes I've corrected. So, when I first studied my, started my spiritual journey, um, it came to my attention that I've always said, you know, karma's a bitch. Karma gets her due. Karma always gets what's owed to her. And while if you believe in past lives, that could be true. But I also believe that there's karmic relationships that, or karmic bloodlines, if you will, where throughout the bloodlines, there's been exactly the same thing happening over and over and over um until somebody comes along and breaks that chain changes the outcome 
And I truly feel that I am that person in this, in the family bloodline that I have on my mom's side, that I am truly there, the person that broke the chain, that broke that horrendous cycle. And that really does, um, confirm that with the moon card here. That's interesting. So it's mistakes that maybe somebody else did that I have now corrected because, or made right because, and I've often said also that I, I find that, um, you know, they, something in the religious context of the sins of the father, but those, those sins carry on, right? They carry forward. They keep repeating themselves until somebody decides, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm breaking that pattern. And I think that is the mistakes that I have corrected in this lifetime. And it may have been my whole purpose in this life. What time was to break that cycle, correct the mistakes that others have made before me. So my kids don't carry on those mistakes and my grandkids and so forth and so on. So that makes total sense for me in that moon card. That's crazy. What is f number three? What is flowering within me? What is flowering within me? Nine of cups. And I just heard greatness. There's greatness potential in all of us, right? Um, we just have to see it. And I think part of all of this correcting mistakes and following the dreams up here has helped this nine of cups come into fruition. If that makes any sense to you guys, that's awesome. And I love that it's got a crystal ball with a dragon looking hand and he's got his tail wrapped around it. It's beautiful. I love this deck. So card four, an external guiding light. And I love how, because Hermit is the card tied to Virgo. Um, and I kind of feel like this card is a, whatever it is, is a nod to that Hermit modality in the this deacon. So that's cool. We got the seven of cups. I would have had a cow had that been the hermit card. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Total sense for Virgo me. And external guiding light is the seven of cups. And I see seven of cups as, um, a lot of times I see it as too much choice. But here I do see it as you have so many choices. All you got to do is pick one. Whatever you pick will be the right one. Um, and that makes total sense for this spread here. That's interesting. Interesting. So let's go in. I never read the, from the book. So let's read from the book. It is published by, it's Lisa Robertson. Adam Ollers is the art artist here who also did, um, Oak Ash and Thorns, Smoke Ash and Embers, The Thistle Down Oracle, and who knows what else is coming down the pike. I will be buying them all. This is, uh, his first, uh, mass market deck. It is the Soul Cats deck published by Llewellyn and Lisa Robertson did the book and it is fantastic. So for card one, which I still cannot believe the one card in the deck where the cat is like a person and he's wearing clothes, which I normally hate, but he's still fully a cat. He doesn't have like human parts. Um, he's writing a freaking novel. <laughs> like, what is happening? So the card, the, the work I truly care for, and that is the two of wands. We got cups and wands here. Interesting. So the two of wands. And they are full color pictures as well in the book. It gives you a little thing on the cat and then the guidance and protection. So for question one, the work I truly care for with the two of wands, it says when spirit moves you, you feel like you can take on the world. However, taking on the world requires a plan, a map or something to guide your inspired action. This soul cat is a master planner, albeit a messy one. Papers of possible actions, plans, and outcomes litter hit this cat's space as he plans his next move. The globe sits atop a pile of research over here. 
uh, a, a pile of research books as a reminder of what is on offer and what is yet to be discovered. So it kind of reminds you here, going back to the last card, the Seven of Cups, there's so many options, so many places to go, so many things to do. Um, uh, as a reminder to offer as to what is yet to be discovered, each page offers a new outcome and a new path for your quest. And then the guidance, not all plans are created equal. Some are rigid and do not allow for magic, which others are infused, while others are infused with spirit and allow for more room to flex, grow, and explore. The soul cat knows that the best plans are the ones that leave room for miracles. No matter how much this ma cat maps, sorts, and plots, the destination is not in his paws. And then the protection, it is best to take a moment and gather all of your research materials now that spirit has nudged you toward a new and exciting path you may need some time to decide how you want to tra travel it not everyone is born adventurous we don't worry if this quest freaks you out a little just take your time and move from one book to another <laughs> oh that is crazy crazy talk so for card two <laughs> um yeah crazy Mistakes I have corrected. And we got the moon. And he's beautiful. So let's go to the moon. Gorgeous. Things aren't always as they seem. Didn't I just say that here too? Kind of. As the light shifts, dances, and fades, the edges around your work seems less solid. That's interesting because he's working up here, taking a plane of action, and then it's talking about work here. Hmm. What could have been hard and uninviting is now curious and alluring, beckoning you to explore and consider to explore it and consider it a mystery just waiting to be solved. It is amazing how a trick of the light can change how you feel about the world around you. And I found that's talking about how he's white on one part and black on another. Interesting. I must feel high priestess vibe there. Guidance, the guidance. There are times in your life when the harshness of the day drains you and you crave cool, dark evenings to soothe your soul. As the world looks different when the lights are dimmed and the sharp focus is softened, the moon makes everything feel relaxed and open as if holding space for you to pause and take a much needed breath. As the moon starts its dance across the sky, you know you can stretch and unwind with the demands of the day behind you and the time and quiet upon you. Wow, that's beautiful. Protection. Not everyone slows down when the moon is high. Oh, no. For some, like our soul cat, the moon stirs their energy and awakens their creativity. And that is me all over. I'm a night owl. I've always been a night owl. When I... Sorry about that. Um, that's just me all over. That's interesting. Wow. Um, I, I do my best writing late at night. That's interesting. Because it seems to keep going back to that. Uh, when the rest of the world slumbers, you too are energized and inspired. Capitalizing on the cool quiet the darkness brings. Use this time wisely as there is a reason this is t your time of peak productivity. Dreams happen under the influence of the moon, and you don't have to be asleep to create them. Jeez. That is... Mm, wow. Interesting. <sighs> Card three. Wow. This is why I love this deck, by the way. it From the moment I bought this deck and started using it, it was like it knew me. Number three. What is flowing within me? Uh, flowing flowering within me what is flowering within me we got the nine of cups let me go find the nine of cups nope it's the last suit in this deck nine of cups beautiful if you could see the future what would you like to know 
We all like to think we want to know what's coming, but this soul cat knows only too well the risk of that knowing. Instead, she asks you to consider that the future cannot be known. It can only be created from this very moment. And I swear every one of these is talking about creating things. Wow. What you wish for now is the stone you cast into the lake of the future. Oh my God. So when I first started my spiritual journey, I talked about this, how, um, it was like a stone being tossed in the water and the ripples just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger until I could no longer deny there was something spiritual happening. That's crazy. Guidance. What is coming to a ripple of what has come before? Not a direct result, but one of many possibilities that you choose to explore by the decisions you made moment to moment. This means before you look into the crystal ball and make your wish, you better be sure you're committed to the consequences of the ripple you're about to create. Wow. It is never the wish itself that is the problem. It is everything that has to bend, flex, and change in order for it to be created in your physical reality. Therefore, be sure, be certain. Then express your wish to the soul cat and let her show you possible outcomes. Wow. And that's almost like when we manifest things, we need to really watch what we manifest. Because when we don't expect to manifest something, we can still manifest it. If that makes any sense. Protection. You don't have to make a wish. Well, you don't have to speak it out loud anyway. Your heart is terrible at keeping secrets and has already cast it into the universe. <laughs> But you can stay silent, sit on your hands, and ignore the knocking of opportunity at your door. It is a choice, and your and your will is your own. Wow. Crazy. Okay, we got the Seven of Cups here. Last one, and I gotta hurry because I'm running out of time. This is crazy. Last one is an extended external guiding light, which is the Seven of Cups. Possibilities are plenty. As much as you can spend all day just cruising by them and dreaming of all the things they could create in your life, again, that word create, each time you look at them, you feel excited yet also apprehensive. With so much an, on, with so much an offer, it can be hard to choose. And as beautiful as the view is, Eventually, you will have to take action. And we go right back to the first card. That's interesting how that goes, plays all together. Wow. Okay. Guidance. There is nothing wrong with dreaming. In fact, daydreams are all part of the manifestation process. And I just talked about that. Wow. Holding your dreams in your mind's eye and feeling into it deeply is part of the energy of this card is all about. The problem lies in not being able to focus the energy on one thing at a time. When And that said that in the other card too, think the moon. Uh, when one has too many options, the manifesting energy is scattered and confused, which is a recipe for disaster. The soul cat wants you to dream. In fact, they want you to dream big. They just want you to pick one thing and focus your energy on that. Protection. You are allowed to take your time. There is no rush to make a decision. You just need to know you do have to make one. For now, just place a red circle on a date on your calendar two weeks from now. This is when you will consciously decide which option you are choosing. However, today, you are going to keep dreaming. Wow, that is beautiful. I don't really read this book a lot. I don't read any books a lot, but that was stunning and I loved it. <laughs> and it caught me out on top of being beautiful, reminding me that you can, t you just need to take the action, take that step forward. And again, I've been getting this message for like a year now from spirit that it doesn't matter what action you take at this moment, as long as you take action and come out of hermit mode. And again, uh, my card of the year is the hermit. So I just find that very interesting that it literally feels like this whole spirit came full circle back to saying, get out of hermit mode. Just take some action. Anyway, that's my spread. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. 
you want to see more please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos i will post marlena trace's video link below and i hope to see you guys doing the spread that was crazy and they seem to be hitting harder every time <laughs> i'll talk to you later bye